Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology again, and we are back with another heated video. Many times people tell me that I think astrology has ruined my life. All right, so today I have listed the top five points. There are many points, but due to the interest of time, I have kept uh, only five points, and I have seen these five symptoms in people. Who will eventually end up saying this? Okay, that astrology has ruined uh, their life. But the question is, how can astrology ruin someone's life? Well, it can ruin. Okay. Now, when I say that, I mean to say sarcastically because that's not astrology. Because astrology is Vedanga. It's Jyotish. Jyotish is a Vedanga. Vedanga means it is a part of the Vedas. And Krishna says in the Gita. Vedesh cha sarver ahameva vedyo vedanta. All right, so we know we need to understand Vedanta, which means we need to learn the Gita, we need to learn the Srimad Bhagavatam. Learn doesn't mean you memorize, it means we have to know what is the conclusion because that sloka means Krishna says that by all the Vedas I am to be known. Vedesh cha sarver ahameva vedyo. All right, but when we don't do that. When we use astrology just like a filthy, disgusting, mundane tool. <laughs> and yes, disclaimer. <laughs> there are many strong things which I will say in this video. And if you are not used to hearing those from me, and if you only like to hear sweet things, which uh, everybody keeps telling in YouTube, then maybe you will not like this video. You will, in fact, start hating me after this video, okay? So my request to you is if you don't like some things which I say, then please do not watch this video, all right? Because then uh, you will feel that uh, I am spreading negativity, all right? But this video is very important because if any of these signs are there in your life, okay? Now, to some extent, these signs will be there in everybody. But if any sign is coming in a major way, then it's a very big red signal for you okay and there's nothing to create fear because you are already fearful so then the question is what should you do if these signals symptoms are coming okay well we should focus on doing spiritual practices and elevate ourselves because what is astrology astrology is basically when you are going towards your spiritual journey towards god then astrology is like a friend who tells you hey you're going towards God. Okay, fine. So when you are going, you will encounter these, these things. So your, this Mahadasa will give you this, this Antardasa will give you this. Okay. So then when you know, then you can understand how you can move towards God better. Okay. Astrology is not meant to make your journey uh, like a royal road. Okay. Which people do by uh, speaking about remedies like gemstones or you know going to Banaras and doing remedies okay now of course the remedies will work but it has to be done in a proper context of spirituality and when that is it is not done in that way it is done just uh, like as a tool to change your karma okay so the fancy evade 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 your karma okay evade Shani evade Rahu evade Ketu Rahu is bad, Saturn is bad, Ketu is bad, everything is bad, you see. <laughs> all right, and in fact, to be very honest, all planets are malefics. There are no benefits in astrology. Now, you may be thinking, oh, this person is speaking lies. Well, every planet shows suffering, all right, in this world. Every planet shows how which person's people will give you suffering, okay? Because even if they are benefics, but they will lord some dustana houses right there is you will hardly find any ascendant where jupiter mercury moon and venus are not ruling either 6 8 or 12 these three dustanas okay so to be very honest and blunt there are no benefits all planets give us suffering okay it, in between that there are some so called benefits you know who give us some tiny dots of pleasure like venus gives us some pleasure of sexuality orgasm Yes, Jupiter gives us some pleasure of the family and children. And Mercury gives us some pleasure of the money. Okay, and Moon gives us some happiness of the mind. So then we start thinking that this material world is a great place. It's a very tempting place. 
and then we forget God. Okay, and then the then the problem comes, and then we go to astrologers and we go to ten different astrologers and we'll show different charts. Okay, and then we will wait when somebody will tell something which we want to hear. All right, so let us start with the symptoms. And again, warning: it's going to be very heavy stuff which I say here, which you may not like. So watch at your own risk. Okay. All right, so what is the first symptom? I wrote it down. Ah, the first symptom is you have become extremely judgmental of everything and, and of everybody, I would say. Okay, which means you have lost faith in normal human interaction. You have become abnormal. Abnormal means people have started telling you, what's wrong with you, man? Why are you always into astrology 24 hours? I mean, not in a healthy way, not that you are uh, trying to understand, you know, how planets or the stars or transits work. That, that's like a healthy way. You are conscious. Okay, today this transit is happening. So maybe this thing happened. That's fine. That is a process to learn as slowly. But if you are getting obsessed and people are becoming fearful around you, if people people get a sense of negativity or they have a, they have a very bad vibe when they stay near you because of astrology which means if people think or if people uh, tell you that oh uh, maybe now you are thinking why this happened that happened okay in a negative way okay let me give you an example so those one girl uh, last year she had uh, sent me a message okay so she was around uh, 29, I would say. So she said something very interesting, which is very apt for this point. So she also told me some, something similar. So what she told was that uh, she is wanting to get married and uh, some proposals are coming. Okay. And then what she's doing is, before even looking at the photo of the boy, what she does is she will first look at the horoscope. Okay. And then she told me that uh, she got a chart of a boy who had Rahu in 7th house. So now, Rahu in 7th, affair, blah, 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 all the nonsense, right? That's what they will tell you. So then this girl told me that because of that Rahu's placement in the 7th house, I cancelled the proposal and I did not even see his photo, neither did I go to meet this person. So treating people like machines or objects, you know, horoscope is telling Rahu in seventh means he's a cheater, he's a liar, he will have physical relation with somebody else. Okay. Now that may happen, but so many people have Rahu in their seventh. All right. Just by one placement, you cannot say that somebody is a cheater or a liar. All right. Because everybody has a Rahu. Everybody's Rahu will sit somewhere. So according to that, everybody is a liar. May not be in marriage, but in some other area. Okay. So this is a typical example. The first point: you 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 have become abnormal. You are not a normal person. Before going somewhere, you think ten times. Oh, today what will happen? Moon is transiting my eighth house. Should I go? This will happen. That will happen. Oh my God! If I go, this happens. Oh my God! If I go, that happens. Oh my God! If this happens, asa hua to kya hoga? All right. If you have, be, if you, if you cannot function normally bef the way you used to function before learning astrology, okay, you have become abnormal, and people have started uh, getting fear by staying to stay around you. They feel that pata nahi kya kar dega, what he will do now. Then this is a very strong sign that you do not have any spiritual practices in your life, and you are getting too much obsessed with some negative things that you have seen in your horoscope okay so you are not having the ability to digest that because you do not have spiritual substance inside okay so that is the first symptom what is the next symptom ah this is big irresponsibility you start hiding your irresponsibilities okay or you start running away from your responsibilities which means that there are people who tell me that, uh, okay, I tell them that, okay, now is a good time. You can do something in this area of your life. So they will say, so what I can do anyways, you know, my Mars is debilitated. Anyways, you know, my Jupiter is transiting my 12th house. Anyways, this is bad. Anyways, that is bad. And then I ask them, what, what are you doing at your office? Oh, I am just going and sitting and watching Game of Thrones there. 
I am watching uh, YouTube videos. I am watching politics videos. Okay, and then it is the same person who calls me and keeps crying that oh, actually you know sir, I don't get promotions. You know why? Why your boss will give you promotion? Why? Why do you think? Because you are watching videos? No, never. In fact, I don't know. Maybe you are fired very soon if you continue to do that. Okay. So many areas. Suppose you have some health problem. Why that problem is coming? Because Saturn has transited your sixth house, right? That is why your health is not in a very good shape. All right. So that is a classic example of running away from your responsibilities. So many times people say, "Oh, anyways, my sixth house is active now. What can I do? You know, I have to leave my spouse. I have to divorce. You know, because sixth house breaks your marriage, right? That's what they told you." So. Now you must break your marriage, so you have no free will. You are totally helpless, all right? So if that sounds like somebody, then this is manifesting in you, all right? So you have used astrology as a covering for your uh, for hiding or for running away from your responsibilities. Okay, that that is a big symptom, and the funny thing is. You may think you are very smart, but everybody around you knows that you are just bluffing. You are just using astrology as a as a nonsense tool, basically nonsensical way of just justifying anything that you do. Okay, so suppose you go somewhere and you forget, you leave your phone. Okay, because you are irresponsible, you are careless, you are, and then. You tell, oh, anyways, today moon was transiting my twelfth house. So, anyways, I had to lose something, you know. So, ठीक है, mobile गया तो गया, mobile is gone. What's the big deal? If mobile would have not gone, moon in twelfth house would have given some other loss, right? So, it's justified, right? So, <laughs> so that's a very big sim uh, symptom that you astrology has ruined your life, okay? Or you have ruined your life with astrology. What is the third that I wrote? Yes, this one is very interesting. You are waiting to break certain principles which you should not break. You are waiting for the right time. Okay, which means like a long time back. This is quite a long time back. There was one a man who contacted me and he said that now he's married. Okay, and. Uh, He's bored with his marriage. He's bored with his uh, wife, and he, he has children also. And he had a so-called love marriage in India, and now he's settled somewhere abroad. But now, somehow, after some years of life, when his romance and physical pleasure and everything has ended, there's no goal, higher goal, no spiritual goal, nothing. So now he's bored. He was, I mean, I don't know what he's doing now. So then he asked me that, sir. Actually, I uh, want to get rid of you know, my wife, my marriage, you know, and I want to uh, explore other women now. All right. But the problem is, this Jupiter is transiting in my fourth house this year. Okay, that year, two three years back. So what will happen is next year it will transit my fifth house. Okay, so maybe then I get opportunities to sleep with somebody else. So he was asking me, "Do you think this is going to happen?" So what does my chart? So of course, he doesn't know about dashas. He just thinks that if uh, Jupiter transits your fifth house, you will get chance to sleep with somebody. That's what he thinks. Okay. So then I followed the standard procedure. I checked his dasha and I saw that what to speak of love affair romance. He will be in depression. That's what his dasha was indicating. And then he asked me, "So, sir, what do you think? Will I find somebody to enjoy? You know, will I get get rid of this boring, filthy, disgusting marriage, this married life? Will I get rid of it or not?" And then, of course, I could have told him that, "My dear sir, hold on, <laughs> you will be in depression." But I didn't tell him that. I just told him it's your free will, whatever you wish to do. I mean, nobody can stop you from doing something, okay? Because if I tell him that no, sir, you will be in depression, then he will say in Hindi, "Iski to juban kali hai." Aapke karam subhanallah aur juban hamari kali. 
your actions are so great they are so divine you know like krishna says in gita namam karma nilimpanti <laughs> and the only problem is with me right i cannot i mean as an astrologer i am supposed to just say yes to whatever you want so you know the tricks when if some planet goes to your fifth house or if venus enters your fifth or lagna or seventh or eleventh you may get chance to mingle with members of the opposite sex and you are using these disgusting techniques to find ways and opportunities and you are trying to escape from your responsibilities okay then astrology has successfully ruined you all right what is the next symptom the fourth ah this is also very interesting this is the this is the most frequently occurring symptom the number four what is that number four is you have lost faith in yourself and god all right which means you you know that okay my this planet is bad this is hindustana this is debilitated here my astagvarga is more here it is less what not and then you are like any is what can i do you know i am helpless i am useless i am worthless i am good for nothing my life is ruined that's what you think because again you 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 are not aware of what astrology is and it is not just a mundane tool just to get some fancy predictions out all right so you have not only lost faith in yourself you have also lost faith in god all right now by that i'm not saying that uh, you you have become a atheist or you have changed your religion or something like that i'm not saying some dog that you have done something uh, officially or you have become like non dogmatic or something i'm not saying that what i'm saying is in general whichever religion you are whichever tradition you are whichever connection you have to the higher being either it is through the gita or the quran or anything it is or the bible you are totally convinced that there is nothing higher in life life is all this all the problems of life boring life troubled life miserable life that is what life is okay you are convinced regarding this and that is why you have lost faith in god and then you also lose faith in yourself your confidence have gone down has gone down your self worth your discipline your determination everything has just gone down right because now you know all the problems right rahu is here he will ruin this house saturn is already ruining some house mars needless to say and ketu is anyways headless right so all your planets are smashed they are in dusthana your entire life is ruined all right so that's what you think and you are convinced that there is no way by which you can improve yourself because anyways kya kar sakte hai right what can we do it's all destined so you have this fake definition of destiny that everything is destined and you know i can't do anything after all well of course everything is destined but you have your free will how you can react to it all right and that will happen when you improve your life when you cultivate your life in a way that gives you spiritual fulfillment okay what is the last and the fifth and the end mm this is also very frequently told by many people i see that in comments and in mails i wish i had not learned astrology okay i wish i never knew jyotish i wish i never knew my horoscope i wish i never knew anything <laughs> because now you know all the problems okay for many people they message to me sir my shani mahadasha is going to start what will happen sir will i live jinda bachunga main <laughs> and i tell him no no don't worry shani is here he will do this nahi nahi sir will i be alive or i will die oh, my god then by seeing these people i feel why 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 in the universe did did they start learning astrology okay because they thought that oh maybe this is some uh, divine fancy not divine i mean some exotic tool like <laughs> no like exotic astrology <laughs> you know something something will fall from the sky you know god will come and like uh, this uh, when i was very small sometimes my uh, 
mother or my father used to watch this you know ramanand sagar's uh, shri krishna serial so in that uh, this uh, the person who would be lord, lord vishnu or krishna he would you know do like this and then shh, some divine light would come out from his hands you know and then this person would be empowered and he would be like yes now i'm a strong person you see so many times people also feel as clothed like this that they will learn some video or they will go to some astrologer and you know then there's this divine light shh, this light will come and they will be like wow my life has changed i'm not the same person my life is wonderful now all right and then when the dasha changes you're back on track <laughs> all right so these are some of the symptoms so i will rewind the symptoms you have become extremely judgmental abnormal and you have lost faith in human interaction people don't like you people have started maintaining distance from you and then the second is you are highly responsible you are the most irresponsible person in the room and you hide everything in the name of astrology like transits you know transits are happening in this house that house then you are doing wrong things but you are waiting for opportunities when you can justify it and you can find the best ways to get around <laughs> and the fourth you have lost faith in yourself in god divinity and the universe and that anything is anything higher than life than materialistic life can also exist okay you have lost faith in that and you have become completely miserable and the last one you wish that you would have never learned astrology all right so if these symptoms are manifesting in your life then it is high time that you stop seeing videos of astrology transits dashas everything you stop and for the next 6 months you focus on a disciplined life on being responsible being a disciplined person doing your duties in a committed way by trying to stabilize your mind by increasing sattva guna in your body in your life by meeting good people by staying away from addictions by doing spiritual practices and by having a good sleep and satvic food when you do this for 6 months then you will realize that astrology is not astrology was not meant to ruin me it was meant to enlighten me all right so don't ruin yourself with astrology because astrology does not ruin anybody it is we who end up ruining ourselves when we do not know the purpose okay and that is all i would say and i am anticipating lot of mails now hate mails so welcome <laughs> all right so thank you very much and wish you all the best and if you want a consultation from me don't worry i will not say negative things <laughs> hello is they will say no is ki to zuban kali hai his tongue is black <laughs> I mean, that's not a good translation in english but that means you know, he's uh, that that astrologer speaks negative things you know that is why bad things happen in my life you know? so uh, and yes if you are new to the channel uh, then please subscribe to it and you can share this video with some astrology uh, addict or you know not addict i would say somebody who is in distress from astrology all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and uh, no you will still find him okay thank you very much wish you good luck bye bye